Joining me now is showbiz journalist Debbie Manley. Debbie, thanks for coming in. It's okay. And um, how did you get involved in journalism? Well, I started off like a lot of journalists do on a local newspaper in Cardiff. Um, so although I'm from up here, I applied everywhere in the country to get my first job and uh, ended up in South Wales. Um, so that was quite interesting because when I first got down there, um, there was a lot of uh, problems with accent um, when I was talking to people on the phone quite often they couldn't understand me and I couldn't understand them and um, so there was a lot of amusing um, situations when I first started and um, the pronunciation of uh, Welsh names and street names and everything else was like um, a nightmare for the first uh, few months but then eventually I got used to kind of um, pronouncing Welsh names and, and actually hearing people speak Welsh and then having to say to them um, and talking to them in English and then they swap over normally but yeah it was a, a great experience starting on local newspapers and then working through listing, listings magazines and uh, newspapers around the country started off on weeklies then went on to daily regional papers and then eventually on to national papers. And did you find that easy to get into? Um, it was quite hard um, I must admit I, I wrote hundreds of letters um, I had a big stack of rejection letters at home um, so it was it was quite hard that first break into journalism was very very hard um, like a lot of um, students I actually wrote for the student newspaper I put myself out there um, but actually getting a job it was really really hard to start off with but work experience is absolutely you know crucial when you're going for a job the more you can put on your CV the better and uh, and just when you start it's just putting yourself out there you're working really long hours like like you have done today on this um, Comet Relief Marathon um, you're starting early, early in the morning sometimes and working right the way through into the night. My first job, I used to sometimes be at council meetings till 12 o'clock at night and you'd be thinking, oh, I haven't gone home. And, um, and then you'd still be writing stuff up, you know, after, after you'd finished. So it's very, very much long hours. And if, you know, if you're lucky enough to get onto a, a national, onto a, uh, a national TV station, radio station or a newspaper, the long hours don't stop. This isn't a one-off. You, you'll end up working long hours, whether you're in TV, radio, or newspapers. It is very hard work. Yeah, and um, you're specifically in showbiz. And mm. what's your biggest showbiz scoop? Um, well, I, uh, I, I won a showbiz award at the British Press Awards in 2005, and that was for uh, three stories. One was Leslie Grantham on the internet. I don't know if you remember Dirty Den um, in the Queen Vic. You know, he was the landlord of the Queen yeah. Vic, and uh, he was chatting online. Um, and I think a lot of us are more aware of, ch of the kind of perils of being online nowadays but at the time he was chatting on MSM Messenger and uh, chatting to a young lady and uh, it was a little bit uh, saucy shall we say and so that uh, that was one of my stories it was on the front page of the Sunday People I also did um, a story on John Terry and uh, Another lady was caught out with <laughs> another racy story, and uh, also one about uh, John Leslie and his girlfriend. And uh, there were some pictures that were also a little bit racy. It's quite. It was for the Sunday people, so quite a few of the stories were mm -hmm. um, quite. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and um, what attracted you to showbiz? Um, I think I I start when I started off in local newspapers. Obviously, I was doing a lot of that kind of writing about the, you know, kind of police, ambulance, fire brigade, all those kind of usual local newspaper stories. Um, but I really like going out. I like going to, to watch bands. Mm -hmm. I like watching, um, you know, plays at the theatre. So I think if you, if you start writing or you start in journalism or in broadcast, you follow what you enjoy. You know, you might have to do a lot of the kind of running around and doing the very run-of-the-mill stories to start off with. But if you keep putting yourself forward and saying, I really enjoy going to gigs, I really enjoy going to the theatre. And if you're passionate about yeah. it, it doesn't feel like a yeah. job, it doesn't feel like Can work. I cover this? Yeah. Volunteer to cover things that you yeah. enjoy and say, you know, I really, I, I really enjoy covering this, can I put this in the paper? And have you ever thought of doing a music column or have you ever thought of doing a, you know, a special on local bands or a special on the local theatre? And put forward your own ideas about features, about, you know, those kind of things that you enjoy. And that's what I did. I just kept doing it on papers. Everywhere I went, I, was, I wrote a music column an entertainment column, that kind of thing. So every paper I worked on, I, I always end up being the showbiz editor or, you know, the entertainment editor. Um, and that went the way, right the way through through the East Anglian Daily Times, the Sunday Sport, which I also worked for, and then the Sunday People. So I always uh, focused on what I enjoyed and managed to make my career centre around what I actually enjoyed doing rather than just doing the things that everyone told me to do. Yeah, thank you so much for that, Debbie. That's ba okay. Back to you, Tom. <laughs>